I am in no way, shape or form a tax professional or anything of that sort. And I am not giving you tax advice or whatever you have to be, whatever has to be said. Guys, the, as, as I go pay another bill, the biggest part of owning a business, the biggest part of running a business is paying bills, 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 bills. A lot of bills, a lot of expenses, taxes. It is not, the more money you make, it's not the more problems, but it's definitely the more things you have to pay for. Um, like I said, employees, um, upkeep, taxes. Taxes are definitely number one. Even in a state like Texas, where you don't have uh, state tax, you still have sales tax, which is quarterly. So I'm just taking a second out of my day because you hear a lot of people like, yeah, uh, get a 6,000 pound vehicle and get off, you know, write that off on your taxes. Yeah, that's if you even get there because you got to spend, you know, thousands of dollars, um, you know, in sales tax each quarter. You know what I mean? The more money you make, the state wants 8.25% of it. So just for, just for small numbers, you know, a little business tip here from, you know, straight out of content, just for small numbers, guys, you do $100,000 in a quarter, you owe 8.25% of that to whatever, if you're in Texas or whatever state that you're in. Now, Texas, luckily, well, actually not even Texas, Square, the system that we use, it breaks it down to what is actually taxable out of that $100,000 that you gross, not net, that you gross. They break it down and then they break it down what's taxable, and then from there, they break it down what's state and then what's sales tax. Because the state that you are in, they will just want 8.25% of that 100,000. It is up to you, and I'm talking every quarter, every three months, you gotta pay that money. So if you're using your, um, if you're using your tax ID to not pay taxes for a product that you buy, let me close this, for a product that you buy, and you're not paying taxes on it thinking that you're saving money, all that money that you paid to purchase whatever products. So say you're say you're buying blank t-shirts and you're going to the to the local place and you're like, yes, uh, here's my tax ID, don't charge me taxes. Great. At the end of that quarter, all the money that you spent at that store not paying taxes, you owe that quarter. They don't tell you this. They don't tell you these things. In these TikTok videos, these Instagram videos, these so-called money gurus who so-called make this amount of money, we really do make it. We really do make it. And these are the things that they don't tell you. It's so aggravating whenever I see it, because I'm like, you, would, you wouldn't even get to the point to, to write off a $6,000 vehicle if you're making the money that it costs, if you're making the amount of money that it takes to even be considered for a loan for that vehicle, which is like upwards of 150 to 200 something thousand dollars, really around 250 is when they be safe for a hundred thousand dollar vehicle. If you want to lease or purchase one for you to even be considered, unless you're buying like a 2012 or some old, you know, G wagon or something like that, or even like a model X, which, you know, you get a model X, which is, which meets the weight requirements for like 68 grand. Right. So you only need to, you know, you want to show you make like 150, 120 grand a year, but you know what I mean? But my point is that by the time you even get to that point, if, if you are an entrepreneur, you won't even get there because if you have a retail license in any way, shape, form, or fashion, or you are selling anything in your state and you are not reporting it, you are committing a, a crime in your state. You have to report it, especially if it's over a certain amount. So just wanted to, you know, touch that as I'm doing business and, you know, you got money everywhere and I always riding around and paying things and stuff like that. So just just be conscious of, oh yeah, I got my tax ID. Therefore, I don't have to pay taxes on this on this um, thing, right? Yeah, you don't have to pay taxes up front. You still have to pay taxes on the back end whenever you file your quarterly tax, especially with everyone out here doing LLCs, 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 LLCs. Great, we're an LLC as well. Guess what? Does a franchise tax, if you make over five hundred thousand dollars in the state of Texas and in all other states, and then there's the um, and then there's the quarterly tax, which you can either break it down to quarterly or monthly. So just a little tip. Chelly and I were going to do a lot more videos. As we uh, as we learn more and more and more about taxes, about the truth of having your own businesses, and is it even worth it? Because you know, unless you're making a few hundred grand a year and you can keep your books right, it's really you know, in a sense, not worth it. Unless you're you know doing big, big, big numbers. We're doing big, big, big numbers because we're manufacturers, so it's a it's totally 
is totally different than for us than it is for somebody who's doing it as like a hustle, which is like 99% of people out today. Everybody's just doing it as a hustle. Just, oh, I want a new car, so let me start hustling t-shirts and stuff like that. Listen, if you register your LLC, you register your business, and then, you know, you start making five, six grand a month, well, in three months, that's like 15 grand. You Now, th this is the trick. Get you a square, get you a system like Square, or I don't know if any other of the, again, we're not sponsored by Square, which is a system that we use. And we're so glad that we had it because it was able to break down state tax, sales tax, and then taxable income out of that total amount. Because the first thing that your, your state's comptroller is going to tell you is, how much did you gross? Therefore, you owe us blank, blank, blank uh, off of that amount. Then it's up to you to show the paperwork. No, I don't owe off of that amount. I owe off of this amount because this is the taxable amount. And then they go, oh, okay, well, yeah, if you got the paperwork to prove it, then we accept it. Boom. And now you're paying less in sales tax. Everybody online forgets about sales tax. If you're selling t-shirts and you're selling transfers or you're selling anything or you're selling mugs or you're selling anything, if you're doing it legit, right? As a legit business, legit street cars, shout out to you. But if you're doing it legit, then you need to charge sales tax. Your state, um, that's just that's just the law of the land. Can't come to my, only four states don't have sales tax. New Hampshire, Baltimore, um, and I think there's like two, I think it's like my, no, Montana or something like that or, one other one, there are two other states that don't have sales tax. So just, just a little tip as we uh, do this Christmas, I mean, as we do vlog day four, I really wanted to give you guys some value in this one. As again, I'm not just showing money like everybody else. All these other YouTubers just showing money just to show money, that's not what I do. I'm showing you guys that, you know, thousands of dollars go out each day, each day. When, a, when you have a, a super big business, you know, like we are the number one business. We're the number one DTF company on YouTube as far as selling transfers. There's only one other company that's bigger than us as far as subscribers, but they sell printers. Outside of that, the only other company, there's no other company bigger than uh, Flash Custom Transfers on YouTube and or Facebook that, uh, that's a bigger company. Well, no, definitely. Yeah, I think there is one on Facebook, but definitely YouTube. There's not a bigger company than us. And uh, we're just able to continue our sales and stuff like that as well um, as we transition into 2023 and we head into a brand new market, which there isn't one right now. So we're about to kind of like how we created this market with the gang sheets, with the real true size gang sheets. We are going to be creating a brand new market still with DTF, but again, we won't release it till 2023. But yeah, just wanted to give you guys that tax, a little tax. Again, I am in no way, shape or form a tax professional or anything of that sort. And I am not giving you tax advice or whatever you have to be, whatever has to be said. I am not a tax professional either. I am just telling you that in the state of Texas, according to my knowledge and all the other, whatever, however many states, 40 something states, 48 states, that have sales tax, if you sell something in that state, you gotta pay sales tax, which is totally different than the taxes that you file at the end of the year where you can write things off. You ain't writing nothing off. If you collected it, you have to pay it. 